Welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, you will learn to solve an interesting problem using Python. The problem is to rotate a string by a certain number of characters. This video will tell you how to take both the string and the number of characters by which you want to rotate the string as input from the console and then perform the left as well as the right rotation by that many number of characters. So if my string is Python and the number of characters entered is two, then the left rotation is going to yield this result. You can see that PY has been shifted to the back of uh, THON. This is left rotation. And uh, in right rotation, you can see that ON on has been prefixed to the substring PYTH. And this is right rotation. I'm sure this video will help your ability to solve problems using Python because it uses an interesting Python feature. That is why I recommend you watch this video till the end. I'm going to tell you which feature of Python this problem uses in a moment. But first, let's switch to PyCharm where I'll begin coding this problem and explain to you each step of the code I write. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then do hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon as I make videos that help you become an expert in Python. This is my PyCharm ID where I have created this file rotatestring.py in which you'll see me code this program. Let's first write the main function. For that, I'll simply write main and PyCharm will do the work for me. Now we'll code the part of the program which is going to receive the input from the console so it will be str equal to input and then i'm going to display a message enter the string to be rotated space and then i'm going to write n which will be a variable for me and i'm going to write int within which i'm going to write the input function so i'm going to give the messages enter the number of characters for rotation space that's it you can see there are two code statements the classic input function of python has been used which is going to display this message enter the string to be rotated on the screen and the input that the user provides, the string that the user provides from the console will be assigned to this variable str. In the second statement, the input function is asking for the number of characters by displaying this message. Enter the number of characters for uh, rotation on the screen and that input will be assigned to this variable n. Note that I have typecasted it to integer, specially because by default input function returns string. So it's something that you need to make a note of. Now it's time to create a function to which we pass these two inputs, the string and the number of characters as parameters. So I'm going to call it rotate string. Then I'm going to simply pass str and n as parameters to this function rotate string. Let's create this function now over here. So it will be def rotate string. I'll keep the name of the parameters same. So it will be str and n colon. And then we move to the next line. You can see str and n are the parameters that are going to contain the values stored in these variables str and n because the same variables have been passed as parameters during the function call. The feature of Python which we are going to use to solve this problem is slicing. If you want to understand the fundamentals of slicing, then I have made a video on it and you can find it in the i button at the top. To rotate the string left, by let's say n characters what we would do so if uh, my string is python and uh, i need to rotate it left by two characters what would i do what i would do is uh, i am going to separate out two characters from the left and then append them to the right of the remaining characters this logic sounds correct right 
So to separate out the first two characters or first n characters, we will write str and within brackets, we will write zero colon n. And uh, I am going to take this value in a variable, which I am going to call left underscore first. You can name this variable anything. This license syntax is going to separate out the first n characters and assign them in the variable left underscore first. Now to separate out the remaining characters other than the first two characters or first n characters. Now to separate out the remaining characters other than the first n characters, I'll write the syntax str n colon. That's it. This will separate the characters including and after the value in the variable n. So if the value of n is 2, then from index 2, that means the third character, all the characters will be stored in a variable left underscore remains. That's it. Now let's print the left rotation of the string. So I'm going to write print and then within uh, quotes, I'm going to write left rotation. Let's give an arrow, curly brackets, then dot, then dot format within brackets. I am going to write left underscore remains plus left underscore first. That's it. This is kind of self-explanatory as I am simply adding the first n characters stored in the variable left underscore first behind this substring that contains the remaining characters. Something we did over here. To rotate the string by let's say two characters, what we would do is we are going to separate these last two characters and then append them to the left of the remaining character. So if my string is Python, then I'm going to separate the last two characters and append those characters in front of the remaining characters like this. This will be my right rotation by two characters. So to separate out the last n characters, we will write str within brackets minus n colon and I'm going to assign the value in the variable right underscore remains. This slicing syntax is going to separate out the last n characters and assign them in the variable right underscore remains. Note that negative n has been used here, which will do nothing but slice out the last n characters. Now to separate out the remaining characters from the last two characters, I'll write the syntax str within brackets 0 colon minus n and I'm going to assign the value in a variable right underscore first and I'm going to put n equals to sign in the middle. This syntax will slice out all the characters except the last n characters. Now let's print this right rotation. So I am going to copy and paste this line over here in which I'm going to make some changes. So I'll convert this left to right. And over here, I'm simply going to write right remains. Right first. This is again self-explanatory as I am simply adding the last n characters stored in the string variable right underscore remains before this substring that contains the remaining characters. Now it's time to run this program and check if it does the job for us. So I am going to click on the play button and there you go, it's asking for the input. So I'm going to input my string as Python. It's asking for the number of characters. So I'm going to give two and let's hit enter and check if it yields the correct output. There you go. The left rotation comes out as thorn by as you saw in the slide and the right rotation comes out as on pyth. So you can see that uh, all the characters have been shifted properly in both the right and the left direction. Now let's 
try to rotate this string by three characters. You may notice that three is exactly half of the length of this string. So irrespective of the direction in which you rotate this string, rotating this string by three characters should yield the same result. Let's see if the program meets our expectations. So I'm going to click on the play button. I'm going to give the same string Python and I am going to give three as the number. Now the expected result is HON PYT and uh, both the rotations, that means the left rotation and the right rotation should yield HON PYT. Let's hit enter and check this. There you go. The rotated string is the same. Either you rotate it left or right by three characters. This marks the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned from this video. I highly recommend you practice this program all by yourself. Keep watching Joey's Tech and only for this video, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.